Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Nale channel. Today's topic is from the book called Leaning Into Sigma and wonderful book and from there I am going to talk about chapter number 8. The chapter name is The Crow's Nest and it is there in page number 37 all the way to page number 49. So in this there are beautiful the chapter starts with a beautiful conversation between two people one is Six Sigma manager uh, name is Sam the other manager is George who is a production manager so very wonderful conversation it says that uh, so do you, Sam do you have a few minutes for me and uh, this George said yeah of course you can go ahead and tell me what okay what can I do for you and he said that actually there are few things I wanted to take I need to get off my chest. Couple of things. See, I have 15 year experience and I know in and out about the process. And, and you are telling me that actually there is a variation and still we can optimize and all that. So I think that the chances of further improvement is very, very small or almost not possible. That's what uh, the production manager said. And then this person, the lean manager, Six Sigma manager, Sam said that no, we can figure out the process. We can see that why, where the variation are coming from. And he said that when you say world class, Six Sigma, this is what it says, when you say world class process. So you are producing already 3.4 defect per million opportunity. That is excellent. But still this is the problem description they have. So they are producing the perfect product perfect produced product they are having it that's bang on the only thing which sam was challenging is two week late de de delay is happening why is that from the customer demand two week late then the customer demand so that we need to figure out and uh, and then although from the accuracy standpoint you may be six sigma you may be a world class uh, organization from the delay perspective we need to find out the delays and all that and then the conversation uh, developed further. It says that they went into raw material warehouse. The 10,000 square feet areas are dumped with the different materials. And you have 15 feet high shelf are being kept to stack all the components and all the materials, all the finished goods and all that. And then they, they figure out that, okay, so maybe one reason could be so they have a huge material and that is could also be we are not able to retrieve the material on time and that is increasing the cycle time and therefore we are not able to meet the customer demand. So he has given eight solution to it. I am going to read it out for you. Wonderful information. First it says that you told me you have five times the inventory needed in here. Five times excess then. For example if you need only 100 resistor and in the inventory it was found that 500 resistors were available just in one commodity example so and then the number two is purchasing and start uh, start working the rest down to realistic level so whatever the purchase we do we, we whether we do it just, just in time or we are just keeping that uh, purchase all the material and having it in the store and all that that is second thing to think about it the third point is Evaluate your vendor who can supply right just in time, right? That is the third uh, category they have Fourth one is for label the shelf, for example, row wise, bin wise, commodity wise, your material wise, finished good wise, scrap wise, and all that. Fifth, put all the pallets on the label shelf. What about the pallets you have? Seven, set up a vertical stage for plate stock using the highs for quick retrieval so that we will be able to retrieve the material much faster we can have a vertical storage one the last one actually there is also they said that with, with good labeling system we can computerize all the parts and location for example when you search it in one location for example you are looking for the system and where the resistor are kept which bin is kept which row it is kept which location it is kept we can easily find it out that's what it says. And then the other idea came up uh, and the, just an extension, the eighth point came up. I think we can just automate all these labeling systems so that it will be much better. And then there is a quotation, beautiful quotation says that there are eight things they looked at. Six Sigma is about quality, accuracy, 
precision and all that but not just in terms of final product it is a quality customer service as well as manufacturing that means six sigma scatters to both manufacturing and services and a product a perfect product delivered two week late is not six sigma that means even though if you are delaying your your accuracy is bang on but still you are delaying it two week late that is not six sigma and then it goes further and here it says that actually like you collect the data where all the things uh, the issues are happening we can collect the data and then there is also second thing snc machine number 14 where it was having so much of rejections and that reje rejection when they did a walk through and they found that lot of materials kept beside that cnc machine number 14 and they wanted to figure out that why why so much materials are required uh, near that particular machines and that machine also not giving the good result also as well and then they they figure out uh, the few of the solution and they said that okay that's where the lean 16 were coming lean addresses continuous improvement like five s you have waste identification you have waste eliminations you have workplace organizations we have vendor real relationship visual factories error proofing process standardization culture chain physical arrangement of the facility all of that promotes and ensure the efficient you know efficient flow of information efficient throughout the organization so then what what they did so they just use all of these tools to convert two things they had two problem one raw material storage where they have a lot of material five times excess than the required quantity and then snc cnc machine was having the problem so both the thing they started out and then finally they said that they complement uh, the lean six sigma they have used the lean six sigma, lean concept they use the six sigma concept both they complement each other and then it uh, very phrase it says that the complement of lean six sigma the proper the, the perfect place the perfect product took place and then it, it says further they, we don't want to stop there we need to figure out y equal to f of, of x x1 x2 x3 so what we did today we just figure out raw material warehouse uh, problem we started out we reduce the inventory we just uh, find out the supplier in which we can get it just in time and order. the next one was cnc machine why why the issues are happening what is the reason and all that we figure out so these two is only x1 and x2 could be we also need to prolong our con I mean, prolong our research prolong our an analysis more from the other factor also that is called independent factor also as well so that the more and more accurate uh, precision you will get it and you will be able to meet the customer demand so they found they use all the lean concepts there like five s uh, lead, uh, POCA UK and error proofing process standardization and then they found that this gap this bottleneck two week delay that is being sorted out so what we need to do is and then the uh, the general manager manufacturing manager acknowledge honestly says that so we even though we have 15 years we have been doing the same process we didn't find it out this way and you have given a good uh, angle to it so this is what we need to look out so when we have a process even though process is old enough and all that we should always review the process and change and use all the lean six sigma methodology itself. with that i would like to wrap up, up wrap up this topic and say that leverage lean concept leverage six sigma concept we need we need take both the things you can complement each other you can make your process much stronger and easier and efficient thank you very much Please do like, share and subscribe my channel. You have one.